Hi everyone, Messi Coda here with this 2 k in the third and final part of my live dev interview. This time we're talking about URPG. That's a single player kit, a bit like you survival, but single player. So you can make games like The Witcher. So sit back, enjoy, and I'll see you all in a second. URPG, is that for making your own type of... The Witcher game. No, actually not really. This is just an asset that I did because a lot of people asked me about an RPG asset and I thought, sure, let's try it, you know. Because I guess the one thing that I learned is that you never really know how well it performs. You just gotta try it and see what happens. So So you've got no intention of making a single player game for yourself? No, not at the moment, no. I mean not really, no. I just wanna make this one. That's it. Is there a dialogue system in there and, like, and a quest system inside? Yeah, there's an NPC too. I think you'll see it in the video at some point. It's in, near the, I guess, on the west side. And so, that's yeah. taken from the logic that you had in UMMORPG, or is that written from scratch? And it's actually better because um, dialogues are a lot easier to do in single player games to worry about cheating. So in URPG, it's definitely, I guess, a decent dialogue system. But there are also a lot of dialogue assets on the store anyway that you can use. There's a lot of decent dialogue. We had one in chat last week. If somebody wants to do an exclamation mark, um, rune mark. Is it rune mark studios? We call it? No, just rune mark. Rune mark just rune mark. Give me an exclamation mark, rune mark in chat and see what happens. Let's see what happens in there. Uptime. Oh my word. Now. Michael was asking me, Viz2K was asking me, how long do these streams normally last? And I said, well, depends. Procedure Worlds, we run them for about four hours, likewise we did with Nature Manufacture. But I said to him, well, we'll try, I'll try to get down for an hour. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that didn't work. And that didn't work. And I said, like, depending on how we go, we kind of keep it to two hours. That hasn't really worked because we're now yeah. three hours in and we started <laughs> talking about URPG. And for some reason, um, oh my word, I was going to say I can't download. That's because it says URPG requires Unity 2018.4. Which one do you have installed? Uh, 3.14 is the latest I decided to go to. Well, I can send you the GitLab link. You can just import it anyway. Yeah, I mean, that's Unity 2018.4. Is there, a, I mean, what is there in 2018.4 that's any good that's made, that requires this up this leap? Um, the point four version is a long-term support, so all they do to dot four is fix bugs. And so it's, it's usually a good idea to be on Unity's long-term support versions because Unity has well, some bugs sometimes, I guess. But um, the reason why my multiplayer assets aren't dot four yet is because they actually have a critical networking, well, not networking, but um, a Linux headless build bug so that you would use for game servers. So for game servers, you kind of have to use 2018.3.6 or dot seven still until they fix it. Now, how many people do you have asking for Unity 5 support still? No one, actually. Really? <laughs> yeah. To other wow. people that you interview? Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. the scary thing. Really? Is that there's still a lot of people out there who are wanting Unity 5 support because there's still a lot of people who have started their project. And there was somebody that we were talking to, I can't remember who it was, that said that they had a Unity 4 Damn. Requests. Because um, the way, somebody started their so, project on Unity 4 using their asset. Well, that's a very old version. Oh, I've sent you the invite for the for GitLab. Ah, cool. I need to, but I need to install um here it is. So next And you can open it with your current Unity version too. You just have to say yes, I want to. Will it? Ah oh, just I'll stick it I'll stick a four on for you. You can uninstall Unity 2018.3 now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> and this is the thing, I can't, I just, part of me doesn't trust them. 
Now, Gigaworks says that he had requests for Unity 4.2. Ah, oh, it's just nuts. I'm still what itching Ultimate Survival. Oh, my word. Bugs me is using Ultimate Survival still on a Unity 5. Every single day, I honestly still get somebody requesting something about Ultimate Survival to me every day. Not one day go by where I don't have like a Facebook or a Discord or a, I don't know, Twitter message or, or, or YouTube mention about Ultimate Survival. And there was a there was a period where I was in discussions with the developer about me working on my own branch of Ultimate Survival and having a networked version of it. But I just I just couldn't do it. And also, I just couldn't handle the customer support that would be needed for that. So I've got <laughs> no idea how you manage this. Oh, uh, well, just, I mean, you know, if you really want to make this game, then you just do it. But you can't just make a game for the money or because you just kind of want to make it. If you don't make it, you're just going to make it and you're going to deal with the customers and the bugs and Unity and whatever. But it's kind of, I think Steve Jobs said this once where he talked about which products to make and which companies to run. And he says it's a lot of hard work and it's constantly evolving. And you really got to love it. And if you don't love it, don't do it because it's just not worth it. You know, it's like, why put up with all the stuff when you don't love it? You could just get a normal job and get paid, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to go click new game. Um, Messi has my name. Class Voland again. Always with the Volans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it kind of looks nice and kind of tall, so. Okay. So if you run towards the water, you can find million weapons on the water there. On the... There's a sword, a sword sticking in there somewhere. Oh, there it is. Blacksmith sword. Mm, yeah. And I drag. Oh, here we go. It's very, very yeah, but this time, yeah, just press two and then there it is. Boom. Smack, smack, smack. Obviously, people yeah, so, are going back there. Basically, Don't so. worry about the animations, anyone at home. You can just easily change those to yourself. Yeah. yeah right. It's basically the same mechanics as your survival. It's a lot easier to handle because there's no network. I'm just running around slashing stuff. Let's see who won yeah. this. Who won the copy of this? Who do you think is going to be the winner? Let's see. Grandmaster Tux? Oh, Grandmaster Tux. I have to say, the Grandmaster Tux. Oh, Grandmaster Tux. Now, as you were with the winner of... I had told him before about coming in for a double, double raffle. Grandmaster Tux. Did you win the use of... You run the use of Bible, you were MMORPG. Which one did you win? Now, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to call pull in the. Um, we've got one more raffle coming in. Hang on, let me pick a, allow entries. Exclamation mark raffle coming in. Never saw that coming. I did say you weren't allowed to raffle in again for you survival, but I didn't say you weren't allowed to come in for you you RPG. Because you'd had already won you survival. So I kind of didn't put that rule down first of all. But man, you're not allowed to raffle in again. That we've never had that before. Someone coming in straight with, with a win and then a win. Everyone spamming in with a raffleage. I really want to play about with this inventory system to like see how far I can push it. Yeah, sure. It's a good way to learn. It is a good way to learn. Uh, how how much of your time can I harass you for when trying to work out to do this? Yep, just shoot me a message and I'll try to answer. Now, I like to say that this is recorded and everyone heard you say that. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> which is why I did it. Um, did it, oh look, it's a whole whoa, you got horse riding in here. Yeah, sure. So does that mean that you got horse riding in URPG and you survival as well, or is it only available in URPG? Um, only in URPG, but I guess it could port it over too. But I, I won't port horse riding over. If anything, I would use vehicles and you use survival later. Would I be able to get Malba's animal controller working with you survival? What is what is that? You haven't played with Malba's. No. The horse animal set pro. No. <laughs> really? No. Oh. What do you mean? Is this uh, another asset or? Yeah, it's uh, the guy. Oh man. Can somebody give me an exclamation mark? Um, Malbers in chat. I'm guessing that's what the command is. Really wish there was somebody around a mod who knew what all of the commands were. Now, um, he's got. He started off by taking a tutorial that C Sharp Accent did, which was a horse riding, the first ever horse uh, mount tutorial for Unity that he made and turned it into a fully fredged asset on the asset store for horse riding so the horse can swim jump about and whatever and then he made dragons flying dragons oh, okay and that cool. it is really cool and then bunny rabbits so you can actually mount a rabbit and ride a and ride a giant rabbit as well <laughs> who doesn't like to do that exactly <laughs> who doesn't love riding a giant bunny rabbit now I would love to see dra flying dragons working with you survival. Oh man, yeah, that would be cool. <laughs> Some Skyrim. So yeah, I'll um, maybe someday. I will, what I need to do is first do the inventory and then get flying dragons working. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Exclamation mark beavers in chat. Okay. Who's gonna win this? Who is the winner? Giveaway now. If it's let me in, let me in, let me in's been well behaved and hasn't actually put exclamation mark raffle for this. Unlike Grandmaster Tux, which is naughty badger. Can't believe he needs to go and play the lottery. Let's see who's the winner. Sanyo, Sanyo's won a copy of URPG. Well done, congratulations. Congrats, man. Congrats. And Mr. Viz 2K, thank you for letting me ride your horsey. <laughs> sure, man. Thanks for having me on, by the way. Have you enjoyed yourself, which is the important question? Yeah, I mean, sometimes I consider just leaving and running away, but <laughs> sure. I'm not really hey. into interviews or calls of people, but that was cool. It, was, it wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be. Yes, that's true. It was pretty relaxing. See? And, and, you, and you weren't even drinking because you don't drink, so that's fine. See? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Normally people come on, they have to get completely hammered to be able to handle me. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think it's you. I think it's the fact that a lot of people are listening and it's kind of awkward. Um, I can't kill Diego, unfortunately. Yeah, we can talk to him though. <laughs> um, Sanyo needs to talk up in Sanyo, talk up in chat, you'll, or you'll lose yourself your RPG. And on that note, I'm going to play about. Here you go, he finally spoke up. So I'm going to play about with your things. I'm going to see how much more I can break them. I'm amazed that I only found two bugs with you survival. I'm pretty sure I can find some more. I will try to find them. Seeing as I, I, I do enjoy doing it. And the best thing about finding bugs when I'm recording it is that you have a video of how I made the bug. Yeah, it's very helpful to reproduce. It's sure. a very helpful tool. All right, you know, there's a popular saying from John Comic who said, any bugs that can be reproduced can be fixed, which is kind of true. I've never heard of that before, but that's awesome. I'm actually going to have to use that at work. <laughs> yeah, yeah um, if you haven't read it, definitely make to, sure to check out Masters of Doom. It's Masters of Doom? Book. Is that what it's yeah, called? It's, it's, it's my absolute favorite book. I read this every couple of months. Just very motivating. Oh, I managed to kill this bloke with a couple of wax. And I've mounted <laughs> my horse. That's how I roll. That's a fantastic place to end the stream. Buddy. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, well, thanks for having me on. No problem. You've been a fantastic and sport. Good luck to everyone making the games and really 
I mean, if you don't love it, then it's far so fine if you do it as a hobby and to learn. But if you do love it, then just don't give up. You know, do what it takes and make a game. And I'd also company. also like to say, if you do use the assets and you do like them, don't forget to leave a leave a review on the asset store because it does actually make a massive difference to people if you do. Really yeah, review. Be cool. sure. I'm gonna to have so, to sit yeah. and play about with your um, your game when you release it next year. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably gonna start next year. We'll see what we're releasing. Well, I'll catch yeah. you. Uh, I'll probably catch you tomorrow, and I'll show you more stuff in the Wild West. Oh yeah, definitely. Make I sure might, to do this. I might even let you uh, ride a horse or two. <laughs> great, great. Yeah, if you ever have a demo or a video, please send it to me. I do have a couple of things, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you have a quick play. Bye, buddy. Catch you later. All right. Thanks, man. Bye. Ciao. What a lovely man. Well, that was it for another live dev interview. I hope you had fun and enjoyed yourselves. You too can take part if you pop over every Fridays and Saturdays at alldw.twitch.tv slash themessycoder, 9pm GMT time. If you want to know what it is in your time zone, use Google. So don't forget to all your friends and neighbours. If you do like it, click it. Till next time. If you want to see more of my crazy videos, click on the left side of your screen now. And down below, there's that big juicy subscribe button. And right next to it is the magic bell that if you click it, it will tell you if I've got a new video coming out. Until next time.